So when you select a fan, you get a brake horsepower from your fan manufacturer. This indicates how much horsepower you need in the motor that you select to drive your fan. So behind me, we've got a few motors. There's some 100 horsepower motors over there, some 25 horse motors behind us, and 400 horsepower motors over here. So why were they selected at the horsepower they were selected at? In a direct driven application, your motor is directly in line with either a fan shaft that's rotating with the wheel, or the motor itself acts as the shaft for the fan wheel to sit on. In that application, there's no drive loss from your brake horsepower to your motor. So in that case, whatever your brake horsepower is, you need at least that much horsepower in your motor to overcome the power needed to drive your fan. In a belt-driven application, you get a little bit of a loss in the V-belt drive. So a V-belt drive typically has about three to 6% drive loss. So if your application calls for a certain brake horsepower at the wheel, you need to add about 3% for a higher horsepower application, up to 6% for a lower horsepower application. You need to add that into your brake horsepower in order to properly size your motor to overcome that load.